for tonight. <laughs> if no one volunteers, I'll appoint I'll, someone. I'll volunteer. <laughs> So it sounds like Sly is able no. to volunteer to be your timekeeper. Yeah. Sly, would you like to be the. Okay. That's it. With yeah. the reading of the mission. Okay. Go right ahead, uh, Carolyn. Okay. The Athens City Commission on Disabilities is an agency of city government whose commitment is to provide a means for the concerns of people with disabilities to be heard, to advocate for public policy change, to provide expertise to the community on disabilities, and tell the community about the strengths and limitations of people with disabilities, as well as how the community can help them improve their quality of life, thereby ensuring equality of opportunity and full participation in community life for everyone. Yeah. Okay, this is Davey. Thank, thank you, Carolyn. That's uh, just to kind of center us toward our mission. Uh, we're gonna just kind of start to read that before every meeting. Uh, some other notes that you probably read in the email is uh, just making some changes to our meeting proceedings to make them more streamlined. Uh, and also just to be more accessible, what we'll do is uh, say our name, pause for a second, and then say, you know, point of order if we want to, um, you know, make a point or, or do something like that. Uh, so that way we're not talking over each other and also so that our interpreter is able to, to respond and let who, you know, let whoever knows who's speaking during that time. Um, so that's that's the first thing. So just important that we introduce ourselves. I'll do my best to model that. Uh, it's hard hard for me to remember that, but I'll do my best. So keep me on track, like Diane said. We'll also have timekeepers, so we keep within our time allotments on the agenda. Each section has a certain amount of time. If we need to add more time on, then we can ask for that motion. I tried to leave a little bit of extra wiggle room so we have enough time. Um, well, uh, J.W. Smith. Sure. Go ahead. Mr. Chairman, I don't know if point of order is necessary unless you really have a point of order, right? <laughs> so I think, like, usually that's used for, um, you know, like wanting to make some special rule or turn the heat down or something like that. Sure. Yeah, I think just as long as we're, and I'm not an expert on Robert's Rules of Order, I have read through it a few times, but... Uh, just if we could just kind of say like what our sure. name is and then and then proceed um and yeah and just to open the meeting thanks everyone for all the committee work that you're doing just seeing a lot of really great things happening and i'm excited to get to that part of the agenda so uh let's go ahead and move down to the uh reading the approval of minutes for june uh has I know that went out in the packet. Has everyone had a chance? Let, let's give everyone just a minute to read through those. Uh, this is Arian. Nice J. to meet you. Oh, move sorry. Them. That's OK. I'll move them if. Uh... OK. Yeah, if there's any uh, changes that need to be made as well, now would be a good time to go ahead and um, see those. This is Arian. Uh, Dr. Smith, did you make a motion? I did. Okay. I'll second. Great. Arian seconds. Then we could talk about it. That's fine. But I, I, I just want to say I think it's really helpful to send those out early, and it would be really helpful if we could just read them before. That would move things along, too. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, this is Davey. Absolutely. So uh, I heard a second. Um, all in favor, if you could raise your hand and say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? Okay, uh, approve, minutes have been approved for June. Let's go ahead and move down to the treasurer's report. Uh, Carolyn, you're on mute. It's some background noise, I'm sorry. I keep muting it, I'm sorry, thank you. If you would refer to the treasurer's report from last month, nothing has changed. 
and uh, we still have a thousand and we will have to adjust the interpreter because we have one tonight uh, and I'm really happy about that. So uh, I will have an update for next month. So it's still a thousand dollars. Okay, thank you, Carolyn. Um, do we need to motion to approve that or? Yes. Yes. Okay. Do we have a motion to approve the treasury report? No, is got it? Do we have a second? I'll make a motion. Second. Uh -huh. I'll second. Okay. <laughs> Who said uh, first? I missed it. <laughs> Scott, were you first? I think Noah made the motion. Noah, yeah, Noah made the motion. This is Carolyn. Sorry. Uh, Noah made the motion to. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so all all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Any abstentions? Okay. Motion carries. Um, we'll, we'll go ahead and move on to new business. Uh, this is just uh, something that we had discussed in, <coughs> in the executive committee, but something I wanted to uh, put forth early on in new business, which is uh, talking about doing an upcoming letter about voting, a letter to the editor um, sometime you know, in the next few months to let people know uh, about accessibility for voting and accessibility features. I think some of the things that we learned in the accessibility committee um, and in our general commission work uh, two years ago and last year could be really beneficial for the community. So we want to sit like, you know, just let people know where their polling locations are, how to vote by mail, um, who to get in touch with if you have any questions and and also any other accessibility issues that people may have um so yeah i, I would like to uh just kind of put that out there for the communications and advocacy committee to to maybe start looking at that um and then uh then moving on to the next order of business a new business uh, to move down to the bylaws committee forming, and I'll go ahead and uh, pass the baton on to Carolyn. We have a committee of five or six to, we thought we should review the bylaws each year and bring them up to date. And uh, so Rose and uh, Barry have already, already sent me a couple of comments and Scott's on that committee and uh, Noah, I believe in me, and we'll be looking at those in Samora to see what we need to do. We'll update probably every June or uh, July. And any minor changes, we don't have to go to the mayor or the city council to get approval. But if there are major changes, we will have to go before the, uh, the mayor and city council and take them to get uh, code approval. Okay. Uh, so by the end of this month, we want to have I'm everything sorry. completed and bring it back to the commission in August. <laughs> Uh, JW, I have a question for Dr. Lewis, if that's okay. Uh, what is minor and major? <laughs> what's a, what's an example? Minor will mean anything uh, grammatical, punctuation, uh, just a sentence structure change, something like that. But if we wanted to change um, me, uh, anything that we wanted to do as a commission, want to change our purpose or any thing that had to do with uh in fact we have in there about the um oh i'm trying to think anything that has to do with meeting changes or structural changes or what we do committees we have five if we want to add two or three we probably need or more we need to change that so anything minor dr smith right. you wouldn't have to go before them yeah, it's just been my experience that sometimes what is looked at as minor, I've seen one word change a whole, uh, <laughs> a whole gist of a particular issue. So just be mindful of that. You know, I difference between talk. shall and will. <laughs> sure, <laughs> absolutely. And that's why we're bringing it back to the commission. We'll make sure we put what is there and then what we're changing. Right. And I that's did fair. talk to the law director, and she did say good. anything minor like that. So we're in, we're in good shape here. 
Great. And yeah, I want to acknowledge the work that uh, Carolyn and Diane and and I know other people as well have put into updating the bylaws where, oh, sorry, and this is Davey. Um, I, I think it's just so much better than how we used to be. We were going off of some of the original documents and a lot of the committees were completely different than what we were doing. And it really aligns with, with what we do now. All right, anything else that we should discuss, Carolyn? I don't think so. Oh, no, I don't think so. Thank you. Okay. So I'd like to go ahead and move into um, old business, which is about uh, publicizing committee meetings and using Zoom. Um, and just, you know, some of the information. I know I, I always need a reminder about uh, what, our, what our procedures are for that. So I'll put the floor, give you the floor, uh, Carolyn and Diane. <laughs> okay. Diane, are you going or you want me to go? Go for it, Carolyn. Okay. Did we send out with the attachments the uh, commission Zoom guidelines? Did everyone get that? Yeah, I think you did. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the main thing is just to make sure at least a week before you want to schedule a Zoom. Patty has all of the information. So I have a question for Davey. Now that you will know when all the meetings, meetings are scheduled, do we still have to confirm a week before that we're going to do them or just when we want to cancel? Um, yeah, I, I thought, and we, we should just double check with uh, Pat, Patty at the mayor's office and with Scott uh, Thompson as well, just to say like, you know, we have all these meetings set and we have, you know, our basic agenda is always the same. So and unless there's any major changes, I don't think we'd have to, but we should double check with them. I do think she wants the agenda for each week, even though we have a general agenda that we've sent to her for each committee. I believe she wants a week before, she wants the agenda that we're going to talk about for that particular meeting. And for committee for committee meetings. For committee meetings. JW, exactly, yes. Okay, for, good. Exactly, for committee meetings. And she also <laughs> wants the participants list and if anyone in addition to the committee members will be added to those who will be participating. Mm. And again, the big thing is a week before also to get information to the communications committee. Also, it would be a good idea to post the link anyway, like maybe we could do that at the same time. So go ahead and post the Zoom link at that same time. That would be helpful as well. It, oh, at the same time that it's sent out instead of a few days before. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, we'll make that note. Uh, Patty does post, uh, or Scott or Patty posts on um, the commission website, on the city website, all the details about how to join. And then we send out a little blurb to the newspapers with the time of the meeting a few days before which meeting which committee is meeting it's almost like juggling all these balls in the air but i think now that everything's getting settled it'll be a lot easier but the committee that's meeting and that if anyone ha needs additional accommodations please contact diane bouvier and so that's also sent out to the media as well any questions Does that i had one sense? question Okay. I had a thought too that maybe on our Facebook page we could set up as an event. Or is that getting to It's in there as an event. It's in there. Oh. On Facebook. It's in as an event though? It is. Yeah. Okay, putting them all up as We're event. just listed. Yeah, she's got okay. that as an event. Great. Hey, this is Arian. Guys, don't forget to introduce yourselves before you come. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I was Diane. <laughs> yeah, Patty was really helpful for helping us understand what the needs were for the from the city. So, thank you to Patty. So, Davy, that's all. I, this is Carolyn. Davy, that's all I have. If anyone has any questions, just make sure the committee chairs get your information. Just think a week <laughs> in advance for everything, and that will. Just sell everything to get your <laughs> notice into the commission to the com communications committee information to Patty. 
a week in advance and we'll be set and the agenda. Hey, Carolyn, this is JW. This may be further down, but did I see in the executive uh, minutes that you guys are planning to try to have a meeting with the chairs to get them up to speed on these kinds of things? It's or did I misread that? No, this is Carolyn. You didn't misread it, but it's interesting because you said that on the advocacy committee Zoom yesterday and Dan and I talked after the meeting and said, what a great idea. We really hadn't thought about it. <laughs> well, <I'm sorry. laughs> so uh, I did send a note to Davey this morning saying that you brought that up. And, and so we hopefully will plan to do that. Okay. Meet with everyone, uh, all the committee chairs by Zoom in the near future. And, and this is Davey. And I really appreciate everyone being flexible and especially at the city and as we learn how, how to do all this and how to communicate this in the best way, I think we've kind of reached uh, the plateau of figuring this out at this point. So we still have a few things to tweak out, but generally it's been good and it's been good to see some uh, Facebook uh, participation, some participation through that. So it's good that we're, you know, being more visible as a, as a commission and various committees. Any anything else on this agenda item, Carolyn and Diane? No, this is Diane. I think it's good. Okay, this is Davy. That sounds great. All uh, Carolyn? okay. I think we're all set. Uh, moving into the committee reports, um, you can see the executive team uh, report, which is. You know, thanks again for everyone who's written letters to the editor. I thought that uh, Noah's letter was really well written and um, Claire, Claire's as well. Uh, we're working on another one right now that we'll put before, excuse me, before the commission toward the end of the meeting. But yeah, I just, I just think that's going just really well. Thanks everyone for the input and um, you can just kind of see just how much more information we're able to get out to the community. And it's been, it's been just really amazing. Uh, you can see that we're working on bylaws, getting committee reports and agendas out in timely manners. And uh, just to, to remind those uh, committee chairs to, to a week in advance to send that out to Diane and send it out to uh, Patty at the mayor's office as well. Um, we're still, we're still always recruiting people who, especially people with disabilities to serve on commissions and committees mm -hmm. uh, and just people in general. But of course uh, we have part of our bylaws is to have more people with disabilities than not on our commission. So we're always looking to, to find and develop and to, you know, put, bring forth the leaders with disabilities in our community so that we can continue to make change. So as you have, as you maybe interact with people or meet people that you think would be good, please please bring them on board. Um, and then also as an executive team, we're gonna start taking some turns on who's leading the commission meeting. So I believe that Noah is next up. Is that is that correct, Noah? All right, Noah's gonna lead the next one. Just so, just so we all are kind of comfortable doing it and I think everyone gets sick of me talking all the time. Is there anything else from the executive team that we should uh, mention? This is Carolyn. I went through the Athens News and the Messengers and Googled uh, Commission on Disabilities and saw all the articles we had from last summer right. and now. And uh, I, I printed everything and sort of compiled, compiled them so we'll have an archive of all of the articles and everything that have been published. So it looks pretty good. And uh, when we first started, we just wanted our name out there. But now I think we're starting to, just people are starting to know more about us and, and that we are trying to make an impact in the community. Good. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, some feedback that we've had as we've applied for grants and, and various things like that is to have more of a visible presence in the community and bring forth issues that we think are important. Uh, this is Davey, sorry. Um, that, you know, I think this really starts to, to build the case for a lot of the changes that we want to see. So 
So I think that's great. Um, anything else from the executive committee before we move on? Okay. We will uh, go ahead and move on into the accessibility committee. Um, Diane, do you want to start off this one? Sure. This is Diane. The, um, Rob DeLock is the hero of the day, and he was outside on an over 90 degree weather day to help us look for um, places that weren't accessible uptown. So we've been taking notes to try to get some ideas of what we can give the city for when they're doing planning in um, some of their construction projects up for uptown. Davey, that's it. Okay. Yeah, and as, as you can see from the notes, we're really focusing on, you know, signage, protruding objects, uh, curb cuts, um, crosswalks, really focusing on the, the upcoming project. So we, we finished Simpson and gave our report to the, to the city uh, for the next summer. But for 2022, uh, Washington and State Street, where it crosses Court Street, are the two upcoming projects for that time. So we want to make sure to give, you know, really good and useful feedback to the city. Um, and our next meeting will be, I believe, August 13th. And at that point, we're, we're going to compile that so we can get it to the city engineers to, to incorporate into the projects. Uh, Diane, this is JW. Um, I, I couldn't tell from the minutes. They were very short and very broad. Um, what what actually was accomplished or what, what, what we found out on Thursday. In the future, will there be sort of more specifics or are you going to hold that until the final report? I, this is Diane. At the next meeting, we're going to go through and try to compile what we've come across because if you during our meeting, we just sort of would take quick notes and we want to be a little more succinct before we pass it out. Okay. So there will, there will be more details coming after the next meeting. Okay. This is Davey. Yeah, thanks for that question, JW. We thought about sending out the spreadsheet, but information is just kind of all over the place, and it's shorthand. And, yeah, we want to get it in a readable version first. Okay. Let's go ahead and move this is Diane. JW, if you have specific things that you've noticed around the intersections in that area that you want us to include, you, please let us know. Yeah, I will. So. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. And I think I think that's it for the accessibility committee. We've been pretty focused on that issue right now and we're also going to start looking at doing more of an audit on the pool. There have been some some concerns that have been shared about accessibility, especially within the restrooms, and some additional um, you know improvements that could be made on top of the ADA. So um, as as we look at that and discuss it, we're going to try and make a field trip out there sometime this summer and uh, take a look at it more in depth. So that's our accessibility report. Um, I'd like to go ahead and move down into this is oh, Carolyn. I just have one thing I want to remind everyone of the city source that Rob put together that people can download and and go uptown or wherever in Athens and take uh, a picture. It tells where you are on your app and takes a picture, or you can take a picture and it goes right to the city, and then they will. You can see on a continuum where it is which department was received it. Yeah, Davey's holding it up. Which department received it, uh, what they're doing with it, and when it's been completed. So we did that one day. We had a walk and roll when Rob first introduced it. So it's city source. Just you can download it, and anyone can send what the problems are back to the city, and they will take care of it, hopefully. All right. Thank you very much, Carol. And that's uh, this is Davey. Thank you very much, Carol. And that's a that's a good point. And uh, it still still is functioning. And they have closed down that. City sources closed. This is Carolyn. So city sources closed. Oh, I wasn't aware. Oh, 
this is that that was hey guys this is scott we are in the process of replacing city source with a a new product um that's better it's more accurate and um it i'm through all the COVID slowdowns, we were a little bit slow in getting it out, but uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Great. And there will be announcements for that. This is Davey. Thanks thanks for that information, Scott Thompson. I had, I had heard some rumors on that, so it's good to clarify that. And we'll, we'd be happy no. to, to help spread the word on that. Um, let's go ahead and move down into... Um, communications. Well, Claire was going to, this is Carolyn. Claire was going to give the report, so I'll try to fill in for her. Uh, we have, of course, been working on the monthly columns and the letters to the editor. Barry Rose and I are working on, actually, Barry's doing it about her sister, Clarissa, who was the impetus for starting the Commission on Disabilities here. So we're going to wrap that sort of around the 25th ADA and add that in there and make that the story for this month. And of course, the letter to the editor that's coming up that we'll talk about a little bit later. Claire has refreshed the Facebook page. And Scott, she's also going to look at our city page to look at our content just to make sure that what we have is relevant and to see if we need to remove things and move some things around to make it make more sense for us. Um, Aaron is researching materials that the commission can put together to inform organizations that demonstrate march and have mass public events how to make their activities more accessible for people with disabilities that is make sure they think about things uh, such as interpreters and braille designated spaces and so on um, Aaron, claire and rose have been gathering information for a resource list to pull together to distribute on how people with disabilities who are lacking resources, where they can get them and uh, get basic needs and also for people who move into the area. And uh, this goes to, speaks to what Barry has been advocating and David's working on a CIL, if we had one, there would be the resource right there. We've also been distributing uh, ADA 30th anniversary information, videos and stories from the Cronkite School. And then I uh, want to especially thank Arian for thinking of the video that she's working on right now. And some of us are doing about the mask project. So thank you, Arian, for doing that for the city. And uh, that's about it for our committee. Unless Arian and Rose have something else to, to add that I missed. This is Arian. I just wanted to thank those of you who've um had the opportunity to uh, join in that PSA project. Cheryl actually will be hanging out after this and she'll be recording hers. Uh, we've had Dr. Lewis uh, and Davey and Barry, yeah, as well, yeah. and Diane. Um, we've had 25, 30 maybe participate. It's been a good cross section of the community. We have a few more slots left. This is Carolyn, that concludes our report. This, this is Davey. I, I also just want to say uh, just how, how much more active the Facebook page, you know, is already active and getting out information, but just recently having a full team of people, it just seems like a lot more information is getting out there. So as much as you can pay attention to it as commission members and uh, share or like or comment, uh, we want to have as many people in the city see that as possible. It's so important. <clears throat> this is Carolyn. I just want to uh, thank Rose publicly because before our committee got going, she was sort of a one person <laughs> person <laughs> trying to get the word out about everything and still is very active and involved with the with Claire and the Facebook page and just thank her for all that she's done over the years to keep it going. Thank you. I mean, I'm enjoying retirement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. And just, you know, if we didn't just, you know, you were, you were it for what, three or four or five years or something, Rose. So I think five. I really appreciate all that you do. Oh, gosh. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and move down into the 
next commi committee report, which is the Ed Education and Outreach Committee. Okay, this is Barry. <clears throat> and Carolyn's going to be popping in too, because I have, first of all, overlapping half of the things that we're doing in communication feel like it's coming in the education and they, you know, so all the work going out around the ADA, um, there's all of that, which I guess is more the communication. The education committee, we're mostly working on the Athena Award, the ceremony, um, and we put out um, an email news release to all of the mailing lists that we have and to the, the publications asking, you know, for submissions of new nominations. In addition, we're contacting the people that nominated last year that got sort of mixed up and reminding them and saying that we will have, um, they will be considered this year and also asking if they want to round out what they did last year to make sure that everything's there. Um, so that, then that has to be out now and the submissions have to be in by October 1st then the commission looks at the, the education committee looks at all of those gets back to the commission on the next October meeting and then they decide out of the top three who we would send a recommendation to the mayor mm -hmm. so then there's the question of the ceremony the ceremony may happen may not happen the possibilities will be at either Arts West or the community center um, following the guidelines for the virus thing, or we'd have a closed ceremony and then just to have it um, shown on um, online as well, or we'd only have, uh, have it Zoom only. Those are the three possibilities and who knows which it's gonna be at this point. Mm -hmm. Well, and that'll be on community television too, right? Well, either way it will be. Oh, okay, right, okay. Yeah. Um, and then we have sent out regarding the actual award, which we have to find uh, a design and an artist to make the next ones, which would be for 2021. So that notification, has it gone out, Carolyn, or going? Which one? I'm sorry, this is Carolyn. Oh, for the, for the request for new designs. Yes, it's, it's gone. it went out and we'll send it again in September. Okay. So, um, so far, we haven't gotten any response that I know of. So what I'm asking the committee, the commission to do is if you know an artist or you know a group that has artistic involvement, anybody, personal requests, personal suggestions, hey, look and see what you can do here. We're doing this. Word of mouth, direct word of mouth, I think is a real help. I put it out to a couple of people. I also sent an email to a, a group called was it art co-op or something I read about in the um, OU magazine recently. So I sent them a request thinking they'd be perfect because they also work with Passion Works and NAMI. Um, so anyway, any kind of personal con attention on this to get things going. Um, let me see if there's anything else I can think of. Has anyone contacted OU's art department? Yeah, they're on the list. Either on the list. Okay. And I just, I just want to. This is Davy. I just want to remind everyone. Uh, whenever you speak, just to say your name. Oh, just say my name. Okay. So that, that was Rosika speaking. <laughs> and this is Carolyn. We have a complete list of faculty who are who teach art and any kind of design, and they're on our contact sheet. And so we sent. It's probably about probably about thirty of them. So they're all aware, and we also send it to the school system, to the superintendent. And this is Barry. Yeah, if you can, if you know anyone, either telephone them or send them a personal email, so that we get a little bit more of that personal contact. Because if they go out to these big lists, they may or may not be forwarded on. And we're even thinking public school kids, you know, artists in the high school, even artists in the elementary school. Who knows what would come up? So it would be nice to say, you know, all the people in our community that have an interest in expressing themselves through a tangible art form would be great. Tangible meaning to hold it in your hands. I think that's all I can think of. Carolyn? The Oral History Project, Barry? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, 
it's gotten a little bit slowed down because of the virus. I'm supposed to, supposed to talk and be interviewed with Joe Berman. And I'm not sure quite what we're going to do about that. I'm going to get in touch with him. This is Carolyn. Along with the Athena Award, we had some nominees last year that went to an email, a ghost email account that we didn't know about. So there are five I think, that are in, we told them last year that because we did omit them, that they would be in this year's nomination stack, this year's uh, stack for those who are nominated. We are sending out an email to each of them to remind them that because they'll be seeing the promotion that they don't have to resubmit. But I just wanted to run this, Barry and I wanted to run this by the committee just to make sure that we're on the same page, that it's okay you think, to say that if you did that, uh, please review the nomination form for this year and make sure you have the required documents and get them in before about October 1st. We wanted to be fair to everyone and make sure that felt good and that felt okay to everyone. To give them the opportunity if they didn't, just to look and make sure they have all of their documents in there. Yes, I think it's a good idea, Carolyn. It, think, think, wait a minute now. Where I we? think my, not good. Now, now you're good, Diane. Try it again. Okay. I said, I think it's a good idea because things might change in the last year, too, so they can update it and... Yeah. It's good for them to get full consideration. This is Davey, and I, I agree that I think it's a, a good idea to let them know and that um, if they want to submit additional documentation as well for this year that they could. Mm. Okay. If, if there's nothing else, we could go ahead and move on to the advocacy committee. Uh, and first of all, is there anything else uh, in education outreach that we should talk about? Um, not that I can think of right now, Carolyn. No. Okay, uh, I'm gonna, this is Davey, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the floor over to Sly. Okay, <clears throat> this is Sly. Um, I need to start timing myself now, so I stay within my time limit. Um, had our advocacy committee meeting yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. I don't know what day it is today, but yesterday. And it went really well. I think that we have a great sense of organization and direction in terms of outcomes and goals for this coming year, um, specifically to benchmark and look at what other like committees are doing across the state of Ohio um, in similar environments where there is smaller cities and big cities to get an insight on where we may be able to use and utilize our skills, um, but also to be able to utilize our skills with other communities as well to be that point person if we need to draft letters or um, respond in a certain way to legislation, policy, both state, local, and community-based. Um, we did um, we did assign ourselves some homework assignments to benchmark and look at um, that we're going to report back to. And we also set the meeting tone, agenda, and culture of our next several meetings so we can be productive as much as we could. And we did talk about the Black Lives Matter letter um, to, and the steps that we went about to creating that letter and the hopes of the outcomes of that letter. And I think we're all excited to see what this committee can do this year. This is Carolyn. After the meeting, I'm sorry I had to miss yesterday. This is Nala. I'm sorry I had to miss yesterday. <laughs> this is Sly. We missed you, Noah, but we knew that we we had you in spirit. So this is Carolyn. After the meeting yesterday, I think I emailed Davy and Noah and Diana said we're in great hands. <laughs> I'm just so excited about your leadership and what you and Claire and others are doing. Uh, to carry the torch on, and uh, thank you for your for your enthusiasm and, and commitment. This is lie. Thank you. I think that all the members of the committee are excited, 
and I can really hear a genuine um, passion behind the work that we're excited to do. This is Diane. I attended the meeting a little bit too when my internet would let me. Um, I, JW, I thought you had some good comments about the letter and I wondered if you'd be willing to take a stab at, at editing a little bit. Say that again. <laughs> I said at the meeting yesterday, I thought you had some good comments about um, at how you would edit the letter. And oh, I, I yeah, wondered yeah. if you would I think we're gonna, stab we gonna, at that. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we're going to talk about that letter later, right? I Davey? don't know because I don't no, know. I was asking, I was asking Davey, Sly. If, gotcha. Are we going to talk about that as, as a commission, Davey, or... Yeah, I thought as as part of this, if we felt like uh, generally the letter was either there or pretty close with a couple edits, that we could go ahead and uh, move forward with publish with publishing this as a letter to the editor and as a statement and support of Black Lives Matter on behalf of the City Commission on Disabilities. So, yeah, that's that's one of the things that I'd like to get done tonight. But I wasn't sure. Um, if, if anyone had any additions to the letter or if there are any concerns or feedback beforehand. Well, this is JW. I gave some of my comments to Sly yesterday and we talked about it in our meeting. And um, I, I said to him, I thought it was going to come up today. So um, in terms of discussing it in general as a commission. So I, I've told him some of my thoughts already. Yeah. Uh, Sly, would you like to maybe just um we could either I, I think everyone got the the letter uh i think i think we sent it out because the advocacy uh, committee met pretty close to this meeting i think we got uh, a certain number of edits done i know sly and i and noah and diane and carolyn and maybe even a couple other people worked on on drafting it um so we were going to present it uh should did did, anyone, did everyone have a chance? I think everyone probably had a chance to read it. Um, do you do you want to uh, like make a? Am I hearing J, JW that you may want to make a motion to approve that with the edits that you had made? No, no. I just I, the comments I made to Sly, I made in the committee, and I didn't know if others. And the full commission had comments about the letter in addition mm -hmm. to those who drafted it and edited it so far. This is I mean, Rose, Rose um, is saying that me. One of the I'm so sorry. People keep going in and out and I cut my I know, I know. Okay, so thank you for the reminder. Uh, I did send an email to Sly once I saw the first draft and I said in the commission meeting last month we talked about black lives matter as far as people with disabilities and there were a couple of additions and i just said i didn't want to change anything without the commission seeing the addition and maybe if i can talk about that and I, my my comments were since we talked about black lives matter black disability lives matter that it should remain that way and not diluted in any way. But others may see differently. That was just my opinion. And with 10 minutes uh, left in our meeting time, I'll, I'll try to summarize some of the challenges that I mentioned in our meeting yesterday. Um, when we talk about Black Lives Matter, both as a movement, as an organization, and as a diaspora within the spectrum of Black people, the Black community, we found it to be challenging. We found it to be a challenge to articulate that if we're talking about Black Lives Matter, we're talking about all Black lives. Black lives that intersect with a disability um, identity, Black lives that intersect or identify within the LGBTQIA plus community. Um, and that's where the intent of the letter kind of grew because the black identity is so broad and so wide and so the challenge was how do we stay true to the original purpose of the letter while at the same time speaking towards the absolute identity because the one thing that we wanted to be careful about was 
identifying one without identifying the others and making sure that those communities and those identities are visible as well. And so as we started to create language, it kind of moved away from the original intent. And we wanted to be sure that that represented the values of those within the commission, because if this comes out, of, if this comes out endorsed by the commission, it's endorsed by all of us. And that's where we kind of got stuck in the weeds a little bit and had to work that way, work, work through that. This is Arian. Uh, what I appreciated about the way you wrote it was that it focused on allyship, you know, you found, find, finding that connection between communities. Like, what is it that we have in common and why are we trying to form this ally, you know, you know, say that we're an ally. Um, and, and so, cause you have, we had, to, you have to make it, that connection to that movement. Um, so I did appreciate that, um, that aspect of how, how you wrote it. Thank you. Uh, this is JW, just to be clear, those I wanted the committee, the two things that I brought up with Sly in the committee yesterday, um, my, one, my one issue was that I, that I, I, I support uh, <clears throat> some of the aspects and actions of BLM. I have a lot of ambivalence about the organization itself based on their manifesto and that kind of thing. So I just wanted to get that out. And then the other thing I said to Sly was, you know, um, if we are just intending to support black people who are differently abled, that's one thing. Or are we trying to support all people with disabilities? If our goal is just to support black people, then if that's our goal, then then the letter's clear, I think. Um, yeah, this is this is Davy. I think um, so. Yeah, I think the the intention from you know Sly Sly wrote um, the original draft of it, and then everyone kind of edited Sly re-edited it. Um, so yeah, we want to we want to show like allyship within the disability community while also acknowledging that um, you know black lives and disabled lives and black disabled lives th these things do intersect, and that we want to be able to um, to show that allyship. So. So yeah, it's kind of it's kind of those <clears throat> two things, and yeah, are th are there certain edits to it that you would like to see made? I guess is my question, or do you think we're close to having it done? I think at this this is why I think at this point, both um, with the time remaining right now, I I. I I'm more, I, I would err more to the side that I'm not comfortable voting on it yet. I would rather mm -hmm. go out to the full commission and all members just to take one final look, um, submit any, and I'll, I'll, I'll um, draft that email with a deadline to submit final edits or thoughts to myself. That way it can be put on the agenda for the advocacy committee next time. And that way we can also vote on it at our next meeting. One thing that I mentioned in our meeting was just because we're not seeing the protests or marches on TV as we were a couple of weeks ago, they are indeed still happening in different parts of the country and different parts of Ohio actually as well. So regardless of when the letter comes out is still, I believe is still in the best place of our commission to put out a letter because I know that past letters by other organizations kind of got lost in the drift of the movement. And for us to, the timing of the letter from us, I think will be very significant and have a positive impact. So I will drop that letter and I will send it out to everybody with a deadline for suggestions or for additions that they may want, they may want to make. This, this is Davey, that sounds, that sounds great to me. I, was, I, I think I was feeling like more of a time crunch, but that makes me feel better about just, you know, when, when we get it done and get it crafted right to get it set out then. Um, anything else within advocacy or any other comments on, on the letter before we move into announcements? 
Uh, this is JW. Just one quick comment. I think, you know, be careful what you ask for in terms of advocacy. If we start really working, then we're going to start working. And there may be some times when we will need people to, you know, go up to Columbus for legislative hearings and that kind of thing. So just be ready for that. This is Davey. Absolutely. We are ready to do that. This is Carolyn uh, with the final, the last draft that you did, Sly. In fact, I put a note on the the uh, chat yesterday that I was, the way you changed the language was good, that I liked what you did. And okay. I, I really I'm, believe I'm that, with that, this is Sly, I really believe that we are very close to a, fi a final draft. I don't believe that we're going to have to reinvent the wheel on it. So I feel good about it. My only concern is now we need someone to do a letter to the editor for July. <laughs> we'll discuss this is slide. We'll discuss that. That way we can get it on the agenda and get it going being okay. two weeks left in the month. So, okay. Thank you. Um, and let's go ahead and move down to announcements and th thanks Sly, for being the timekeeper as well that really has helped us yes yeah time uh, any quick announcements before we close out the meeting tonight real quickly this is sly um i have never kept minutes so what i did was and i'll forward this to everybody i um kept a log of when the start when the committees will start and finish um with the exception of my committee for advocacy, we all stayed under the allocated time for the different five minutes or one minute or so forth. So I would suggest that we keep that for the future. Um, we were a little bit long in the beginning, of course, because of the PSA and getting rolling, but the allocation of every committee, treasurer's reports, new business, we all stayed under by one or two minutes. So the allocation is great and I think as you'll see when I when I email this out to everybody, we're we're doing good time wise. This is Carolyn. One other thing you all mentioned on your committee yesterday was uh, the agenda and asking everyone to yes. get agenda items in to commission and to committees in advance so that they can yes. be added. Or and I think Diane maybe mentioned that even at the beginning of our meetings we should. Uh, ask if there are other agenda items yes. and approve the agenda before Absolutely. we begin. This is Davy. That's correct. We we should ask for those agenda items at the beginning of the meeting too. I forgot to do that. I saw that email, Carolyn. Um, okay. Any other announcements before we entertain a motion to adjourn? This uh, is Diane. I I'm sorry, Diane. <laughs> no, I Diane. had one thought, and that was maybe that we could do a Zoom social something on yes. the actual celebration of the 30th anniversary now you read my mind yeah i mean <laughs> right I, you know we're going to do something i don't or too late i don't know i don't think it's yes, this carolyn, oh. carolyn I'm thinking we could ask the mayor to do a proclamation right um, and then right. maybe we could just gather and drink drink water and just say hi yeah, yeah, just quickly, this is Carolyn. This is easy. We're writing up against us. I know you are. Just quickly, I've got one thing. I've got one thing. I don't think it's too late. We can schedule a Zoom, and we can also get the mayor and maybe invite some people, city officials and all, to join us and the media to have a good celebration. So that's it. That's all I have to say. Let's do it. Okay. Motion to adjourn. So I make a motion to end the meeting. In front of J card before. I'll go in front of him whenever. What? I didn't hear that, Noah. Noah Sorry, said. say it again. This is Noah. I've been in front of J card before. I'll go in front of them whenever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, so we have a motion to adjourn. Do we have a second? Second. second. Okay, we got a second. Uh, did the interpreter did this work for you? The interpreter. This is a pace. Do we do okay this time, Allie? Yeah. Sorry, I was on mute. Yeah, everyone did good. Okay, good. Thank you. And thanks for the feedback. Uh, okay, uh, all in favor of adjourning? Aye. Aye. Okay, mission passes. See you see you next time everyone and we'll get working on